be snow with chaos, we're getting it. Yeah, that's right. We're matched up with the first lady, Ariel the mermaid. And we're gonna kill it. Had that five game win streak snapped, so we're on a one game skid trying to get back on track over 3000 BC. Hall of Fame verification, seven minute quarter. So here's Oklahoma City's starting group. They've got Adams. Ennis Cantor is out there with Norris Cole. And it's Westbrook in a point guard. And for the Spurs, Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. Then there's Ginobili. And it's Aldridge in at the four-man position. No, I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you go to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Oklahoma City shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. He hits the second from the line. Now, here's Parker. From outside the arc. Shot no good. Spurs on defense. Kicks to Westbrook. Nailed from three-point land. Uh, okay. Westbrook's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. All right, let's go over to the sideline with Doris Burke. Kevin, earlier I had a chance to speak with Greg Popovich. Relying on their outside marksmanship is one thing he's comfortable with in this matchup. He said that his team can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anyone in the league when it comes to shooting from distance and that he won't pull the reins back on his shooters at all tonight, guys. We'll see how they go. Thanks, Doris. Always want to get those threes falling consistently. Yeah, Kevin, you're right, because that's really the only way that you can force the defense to spread out and extend itself, and when that happens, then other opportunities are created. A nice shot by Alden. It's such a sweet three-point stroke there, and it can really open things up inside because as good as he shoots it, it forces the opposing bigs to have to step out on the perimeter. Patterson, that's good. And how about that, responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Terrific little tater tay going on right now. Back and forth, here we go. Something else I think of with him is that three-point shot from the corner. I mean, that's his shot. And we've certainly seen him drain a bunch of them. George dishes to Patterson. And here's Westbrook from the arc. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. You always want a player to have his head up and to be surveying the court, but not if that's going to be the result. And George Get kicks to Adams. Roberson. And what was that about? Not a good shot right there. And here's Green outside. No luck. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Parker with the steal. Leonard the pass to Green. And the shot is good. And a great job of taking advantage of the steal there to get those easy ones in transition. You know, that's exactly how you draw it up, Greg, on the board. I mean, good defensive work, aggressive uh, what play are you in doing? the open court. Those two things are hand in glove when they work together. Out of bounds, Oklahoma City takes possession. <laughs> Oklahoma City's gone two or four from beyond the arc to start the game. Here's Patterson. Outside, George. A second chance effort. And Adams kicks to Patterson. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. <laughs> Patterson's got five points so far. The Spurs have gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Gasol setting the pick for Parker. Back to Gasol. And it's good in the assist by Parker. Gasol's got his first bucket in this one. Double team on Westbrook. 
Right by Adams. And that's how it's done. I mean, find that hole in the D and then go hard to the right. Maybe that hole was a little bigger than it should have been. Well, it was. I mean, a tight game like this one, you'd think they'd have a little more energy at the defensive end than that. And the jump by Aldridge. Clark, we've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. Yeah, we sure have. I mean, it's been a bit of a windshield wiper game. I mean, back and forth, the lead has gone five times, so no one in clear control yet. And, guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that moment. Patterson. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. And there's Gabe. That's good on the assist by Parker. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Now, here is George. And he gets it to go. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high quality shot on the follow, just like he got there. Leonard against George. Left side, Leonard. And there's the pass to Bertens. Lock at six. And it's Leonard missing. And, and, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Westbrook drives in. Good chance here for George. And Adams kicks to Roberson. Outside Westbrook. Adams dishes to Robertson with the lead pass. Open shot, George misses off the right iron. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that. That's a shot you've got to take if you're looking for the three-pointer. I mean, the defense is nowhere around. And so they foul intentionally. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Yeah, but that's no excuse for that kind of foul. I mean, that might be an explanation for it, but it certainly doesn't justify it. And even then, it's uh, just not a good play. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. Oklahoma City trailer. Kristen, the pass to Grant. Here's Kristen. Ginobili with the steal. Here's Leonard, and it's rejected. What? Thunder shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Drive by Adams, and that one's good, Kristen. The lead changes hands once more. There has been no separation between these two teams. You know, it's made for one heck of an entertaining game. Even when it hasn't been the best basketball being played, it sure has been fun to watch. But this tug-of-war game continues. You know what? And they just keep flip-flopping the lead again and again and again. And, guys, that's lucky number seven already in this game. Now Murray. Here's Pertinus. And the three on target. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. It's Ginobili with the drive. And also, he's one of those guys who can cover 94 feet in the blink of an eye and often does, with or without help on the break. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Spurs. Boy, they've really amped up the pressure at the defensive end, guys, and have piled up the steals in I the early going. Been been worried, but they've also protected the paint extremely well. You see that in their block shot totals, but also they've altered a lot of shots. 
Stolen by Gay. That's his second foul of the first quarter, and they may want to sit him for a while to avoid number three. The Spurs have shot two free throws, and they're one of two so far. And as a team, excellent. A season ago, about 80% when they got to the line. You know, success at the line just became contagious for them. A few guys got on a roll, and it carried over to the rest of the team. And the Thunder making a change here. Norris Cole, he's checked in for Kyle Singler. Jeremy Grant comes in for Jimmy Butler. Ennis Canner's checked in for Nick Collison. And it's Doug McDermott in for Anthony. Oh! Boom! And nobody getting in the way. Not at all. They just throw it. Jeez, how did he do that? I mean, do you know how he did that? That, that was straight out of a yeah. circus act. Yeah, well, he didn't seem to be walking the high wire. You're right, Greg. You are right. Tell you what, guys, that dunk alone worth the price of admission. And the Spurs pushing it up now. Oh! And what a beautiful hey, way to finish off that up. Seagulls just strong at attacking the rim. That just puts a little more momentum on their side, don't you think? The defense got to tighten up now. I mean, you can't have the opposing point guard throwing down on you like that. Nick Collison's checked in for Ennis Cantor. That's, it's close, but, you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. Yeah, and as quick as players are at this level, in this day and age, I mean, you've got to be perfect in your anticipation to draw the charge. San Antonio calls timeout. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Singler comes in for Adams, and McDermott subbed in for Norris Cole. That one is no good. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Pass to Aldridge. From deep three point range, an absolute bomb from three point range. Aldridge has got eight. Well, how about the start that they've gotten off to here? Huge lead, and we're still in the first quarter. And guys, it hasn't just been the scoring. I mean, they're playing tremendous defense, too. Ah! Haven't you learned about the full court press? Haven't you learned about that? The Spurs have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. That one Come is on, off. John And he's good on the second. Here's Westbrook. Pass to McDermott. On the wing, George. Outside Westbrook. And that does it for the first quarter. Spurs. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And guys, what's your take on the Spurs so far? I just like the way they're getting out in the open floor, taking advantage of all those fast break chances here early on. I agree with you, Greg. I mean, they can run, and they've done a good job filling the lanes in transition. In a moment now, to reset the lineups, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up for the second quarter of basketball. So for Oklahoma City right now, we've got Nick Collison. Norris Cole is out there with Kyle Singler, and it's Westbrook in at the one. Gate kicks to Murph. Spurs passing it around. And it's Leonard missing. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one. Almost always deadly when he's that open. And there's the call on Ginobili. That's his third foul of the game. The drive by Cantor. The kick out to Westbrook. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. 
Westbrook's got five. And you know what? Sometimes something good can come out of a bad possession. And what a beautiful way to polish off that sequence. Just strong and attacking the rim. That just puts a little more momentum on their side, don't you think? Absolutely. The defense got to tighten up now. I mean, you can't have the opposing point guard throwing down on you like that. And George with the block. Passes it to Abrinas. Westbrook. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. The Bulls were impressed. Here in the time. second with about a minute and a half gone by. Stolen by George. Down low. Still the dunk by Westbrook. And you guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snug, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Here's what San Antonio is going with right now. Gasol's checked in. And Dwayne Dedman subbed in for Joel Anthony. Well, they're still early in the quarter, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. That was a good time to call the timeout to try to settle everybody down and get back into their offensive rhythm. They've been coughing up the rock an awful lot. Check in. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. It's a five point lead. <laughs> and out of bounds is San Antonio Good. gains possession. Now here's Parker. He's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. Knocks down the three ball. And the Spurs lead by eight. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision-making for them offensively. Absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding, and they're piling up the assist. Cantor's shot is off. I still can't believe that one didn't fall. And here's Leonard from three. Really quite surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds, given what the scoreboard said. Not typical. They've been dominant on the board, but they are still falling short on the scoreboard. he got so much junk in his trunk, he'll find a way to hurt you. Aldridge kicks to Parker. He dishes it to Green. Westbrook with the steal. Oh, mercy! Talk about putting something extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, Clark. You know, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. I, I'm startled Defense that he would even foul. try something like that at this stage of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Leonard against George. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And it's Marginal over with the finish. I tell you what, he can do a lot more damage to that rim than that. And you know, Clark, with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Me too. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm glad he didn't, because otherwise we'd probably have a 45-minute delay here if he shattered the backboard. Solid on the one-hand throw down there. You know, Clark, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Yep. Yeah, and one reason why, I just don't know that I've ever seen him miss a play like that. Here's Cantor. George. Cantor kicks to Patterson. He feeds it to Westbrook. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. They get it again. Nick Dermott. And at last, they get one to fall. Well, I tell you what, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. They're not getting the job done. That's a great point. Ten of the last 12 points they've allowed have come at the rim. And very little fight. 
get put up by the defense as he made his way to the bucket for the jam. They did seem to take the cautious approach, Greg, when it came to defending that one. You're right. And, guys, it's not the time for caution now. I mean, they've got to be aggressive and take some risk to see if they can yeah, cut that lead down. And out of bounds is San Antonio gains possession. Adams, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Allison comes in for McDermott. Spurs leading by seven. And that'll be San Antonio as it goes out of bounds. Spurs retain possession. McDermott's checked in for Oklahoma City. Leonard, the pass to Bears. A three-pointer off the mark. Oklahoma City's gone 0-2 from deep here in the center. And now we've got the intentional foul. The Thunder shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. Yeah, a, as a group, really a dismal year for them from the line last season, guys. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're sending guys to the line way more than they should here. They need to play good position defense and avoid the reach-in sloppy foul. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for the Spurs. The Spurs making a change here. Murray's checked in, and he makes both free throws. Hitting your free throws is a good way to get back into it. It stops the clock and extends the game. I mean, you want to take advantage of that situation. And they're shooting much better from the line here in the second quarter. So far, they haven't missed one. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Three of their last five makes come from beyond the arc. The defense has to react quicker. Scooped up. George dishes to Westbrook, poked away, and Kyle Anderson gets the whistle that time. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus, and we'll go to the line to shoot two. For Oklahoma City, they have gone five of eight from the charity stripe here tonight. Spurs making a switch here. Ginobili's checked in. Just solid. Really, one of the very best there is at the free throw. Now the feed to Murray. Gay outside. He passes to Ginobili. Bertinus. And a miss there on the triple. 141 left in the first half of the game. Westbrook drives in. And the rejection by Leonard. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. And that's a shot he struggled with before, but you can't fault him for taking it with the defense backing off. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. The number of points they scored in the paint already today is pretty eye-opening. It, it really is, Clark. The defenders need to do a better job of closing those lanes to the hoop. But they'll get another chance. Kicks it out to Ginobili. And the shot no good, a bit short. And if the shot's not there, you've got to understand that. Move the basketball. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not quite sure what his mindset or what he was thinking there. I mean, that was just a terrible shot. And Westbrook, here we go. Gay with the block. And they're able to recover. McDermott can't get it to go. Not able to find it here in the second. He's off stride and off track just a bit after that one he had early. Thunder trailing by six. The pass to Abrinas. Dishes it to McDermott. Off the mark there with a the three-point shot. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Leonard attacking. Pass to Bertens. Fires the three. Why is the oh. clock hit all zeros? Wow. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. It's the Spurs up nine. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. And now the third quarter. I to get going. Some excellent numbers in this one for Aldridge. 12 points. And he's done a little bit of work behind the arc. He's got a pair of three-pointers. 
And you know what? The defenders have that in the back of their minds now. They'll be on him a little tighter. Green teams with Leonard on the wings. Then it's Dwayne Dedman, and it's Aldridge in at the five. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Rips down the breakaway slam. Just a great job of attacking on the break. Yeah, you know, exploding to the basket like that, Greg, just as soon as that ball was going the other way. That's um, exactly how you want to do it. And it's sent back by Aldridge. Westbrook kicks to George. Good. A nice assist from Westbrook. Seven points here for George. Took advantage of some shoddy defense there. They've got to at least get a finger on it. Aldridge, the pass to Parker. Pertinus. Off target from outside. Didn't get it. Boy, just by his body language, Kevin, you can tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, it seemed like he had great rhythm on that. You can see the disappointment in his face. And yes, sir, that one drops. 15 points for Doug McDermott. And you know, he's going to continue to bury those. If that's how they're going to be. Punches it down. Rubs it in. It looks like a little deeper with the hanging finish. I tell you what, they're not backing off at all, are they? He kicks to Robertson. Feeds it to Westbrook. Patterson. Shot clock at five. Robertson dishes to Adams. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. Definitely saved the layup with that foul, and he'll make him earn him from the line, and that's what you want to see. Oh! oh. Wow, and that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying Clark to get back into this game like this. Yeah, definitely Whoa. a jam with emphasis. A big apostrophe or exclamation point. How about maybe even a question mark, Mark? Yeah, I would have to say there are a lot of questions right now from a defensive standpoint. That's for sure. Adams, right side. He kicks to Cantor. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Cantor's got his second bucket of the game to go. That's three of four here to start the half. Fella, watch out, you might bring that whole basket down on top of it. I didn't think he was ever going to let go of the rim. Tell you what, though, you might as well enjoy the moment. Make it last just a little longer. And out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. San Antonio leading by 11. Green kicks to Leonard. Back to Green. That's good. It's Leonard with the assist. Leonard's got his seventh assist in the game. They just can't miss. Everything they put up, it seems, goes in. You know, sometimes you're the bug, and sometimes you're the windshield. They are certainly the bugs tonight. <laughs> Nothing going their way. And, and I'm not even sure that I'd want to be the windshield. No. Uh, maybe the windshield wiper. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. <laughs> Rovers on the pass to Westbrook. Parker with the steal. Now here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. No good on the triple. Thunder trailing by 12. Robertson dishes to Adams. George. And that's a foul. Called on T.J. Warren. That is his first foul of the game. And so here is Oklahoma City. Cantor kicks to George. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. Spurs leading by 12. Green passes to Aldridge. On deep. It's hauled in by George. George has got nine rebounds now tonight. Oh, yeah. Even when they're down, he's still looking to do the spectacular. And he pulled it off. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe this is the best time to do it. I agree. I mean, now's when you need a spark, something electric to get your teammates fired up. That's good. Yeah, good looking bounce pass to set up that one. Leonard dishes to Alder. Oh, big man rocking the rim. Good aggressive finish right there. And usually he leaves those to his teammates. And you know, guys, with his length, I think he needs to attack the basket much more. Those dunks should be routine for him. 
Leonard attacking. There's the third two-handed slam. Taking it to the rack with power right there. And oh, hammering down oh, with the two-handed slam. Just piling on the feet with the dunk like that. And Oklahoma uh, City on, making why? a change here. Norris Cole, he's checked in for Adams. Jimmy Butler comes in for Jeremy Grant. Nick Collison's checked in for Ennis Kanter. And Andrew Wiggins is sub in for Doug McDermott. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Thunder will retain possession. Jeff, Jeff Teague, he's checked in for Jimmy Butler. The drive by Cantor gives him the lead pass. And that one's good, Kristen. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. I tell you what, it reminds me of one of my college coaches who used to say, that ain't going to get it done. That's five straight baskets in the paint now. <laughs> Cancer. There's the dish to Patterson. Pass to Kristen. Outside Felton. Misses the three. And that's not the best of shot selection there. The defense definitely won that possession. Yeah, I think in that case, you've got to go elsewhere with the ball. You just can't rise up over the top of him when he's on you. Stolen by Cancer. And they go to the intentional foul. The Spurs making a switch here. Gasol's checked in. 151 left here in the third quarter. And an intentional foul right there. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Spurs. Defensively, they played with a lot of energy, and the steals we've seen are a result of that aggressiveness. And guys, the thing that jumps out at me is their block shots. I mean, they're playing up on the shooters tightly, and then they're sending them packing. I mean, putting those shots in reverse, all in a clear, good day's work. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. And did not seem happy about how things are going on right now and, and maybe wants to make some changes. I agree. I mean, just was not comfortable with the way things were set up at that particular time. And in that case, I think it's the right thing to do. changes. McDermott's checked in for Kyle Singler, and it's Jimmy Butler coming in for Norris Cole. The first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Spurs leading by six. A minute 42 left to play in the third. Murray kicks to Alden. San Antonio again missing. Really quite surprising to see the huge edge they have in rebounds given what the scoreboard says. Yeah, not typical. They've been dominant on the board, but they are still falling short on the scoreboard. San Antonio's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Murray, the pass to Ginobili. And here's Leonard from three. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Here's the break. Oh, wow. The Thunder have made nine free throws in the game. 14 attempts. The first one falls. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. And so he hits both. Got enough with the full court 105 press. left Holy in the shit. third quarter. San Antonio leading. Parker passes to Bertans. Parker. Inside. Gate kicks to Leonard. Six to shoot. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Yeah, and, and I, I like this call because you want the refs in that situation. If there's any doubt, Air on the side of giving the benefit of the doubt to the offensive player. Oh, that should have been a block, and it was. If he can improve on what's been a shaky day for him thus far, they could stretch this lead out. Abrinas, the pass to McDermott. All sorts of time, and he gets that one to go off the front iron. 
And it's eight points for Andrew Wiggins. The Spurs have gone 8 of 16 in the third quarter to put their second half shooting percentage right at 50%. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. And here's Leonard from three. Good on the shot. Leonard's got 12 now in this quarter. Under trailing by five. Grant dishes to McDermott. Passes it to Abrinas. And that comes off the assist by Jeff T. Nine seconds left to play in the third. Knocks it loose. McDermott with a steal. Here's Grant. It's good. This game is all even. Some big points there. I mean, they got him on a nice play to get the ball right to the bucket. And exactly what they're looking for down the stretch, Clark. Just more of the same. And we wrap. And we're set to start the action up here in the fourth quarter. And if it's anything like the first three, we should be in for a treat. Taking a look at the Thunder. Adams is out there with Norris Cole. Then it's Ennis Cantor. And it's George in at the three. And it's out of bounds. The Thunder able to retain possession. Yeah, that's a super defensive play. If that gets through, no doubt they score. And that's why he sold out for it, because he knew he had to make that play. He wasn't going to let them get the advantage. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. That free throw, no good. Yeah, he missed that one there, but I like how he's been aggressive getting to the line, Kevin. You get free throws and you put defenders in foul trouble. Kevin, I hate to pile on here, but it's really been difficult to watch his work at the line. I mean, it's something he struggles with, and this game is no different. Under trailing by three. Patterson. Aldridge is covering. It's Westbrook with the drive. And Patterson kicks to George. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That free throw good from George. T.J. Warren, he's checked in for the Spurs. And George drops them both. The Spurs shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks. Parker passes to Gale. And the shot is good. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest. But he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Double team on Westbrook. Kicks to Adams. It's Westbrook with the drive. Come on. And that foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression. From a defensive standpoint, he does not need, nor does the team need, number five. Just over a minute played here in the fourth. Parker kicks to Green. Back to Parker. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. Help the bucket. And it looks to me like he still has some of the shooting touch that he displayed in the first. It's Westbrook with the drive. He dishes it to Patterson. He feeds it to Westbrook. That's really a tough call. One you don't like to see, but it was called, and now he's got to really make sure that he's on top of his game here in regards to not picking up another foul. That was his fifth right there. Both free throws good from Westbrook. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Westbrook against Parker. He passes to Bairton. Three-pointer, and Roberson pulls it down. Oklahoma City trailer. It's Aldridge penetrating. Stolen by Westbrook. Roberson dishes to Patterson. Roberson the pass to Westbrook. Outside for George. To the paint. Roberson. Green with the block. Here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. And finished off by King. He's also a guy, Steve, whose confidence is not very easy to shake. That's an important quality to have. He missed a few shots in a row, but they're not going to cause him to doubt himself. Not in the least. And he gets it to go. He really made that mismatch pay off. The defender giving up that much size isn't going to be able to put up much resistance near the basket. Green. Aldridge double-teamed. 
There's the pass to Bearcy. And out of bounds as the Thunder gain possession. San Antonio calls timeout. Find out what Doris Burke has for us. Guys, thank you. I got a chance to hear what Greg Popovich was saying to his team. We can't let up now. If we stay and make a few plays, we'll be right back in it. His message was clear. Stay the course, Kevin. Now here's Leonard. Tight defense on him. Parker kicks to Leonard. And it's good on the assist by Parker. And it's now 22 points for Mono Ginobili. To a Remus. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. The D just sagged off just enough and no hesitation uh. on his part. And we're about three and a half minutes into the fourth quarter. Is the pass to get. And he was camped in just the right spot to swipe that pass away down low. And Westbrook, here we go, to take the lead. And there's Ennis Cantor on the assist by Westbrook. And that's now six points for Ennis Cantor. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for Oklahoma City. Boy, they're hounding, harassing efforts at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Yeah, but they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Yeah, and Greg, you know the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot, not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. A different look now for San Antonio. Aldridge has checked in, and Joel Anthony's subbed in for Dwayne Dedman. San Antonio's gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. Murray dishes to Gay. And pushing it up here. Here is Oklahoma City. George with the ball. And finished off by Westbrook. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Yeah, and actually still too close to call. I mean, this one is tight. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Leonard kicks to Murray. To the inside. Oh! Stolen by Westbrook. And the Thunder pushing it up now. And George with the stuff. Hey guys, that's a big swing right there. I mean, taking the steal and then turning it into two easy points on the dunk. No telling how important that sequence could turn out to be. And guys, in a game this snub, moments like that are the ones we usually look back on at the end as a difference maker. Norris Cole, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Outside Westbrook. Let's it go from deep. Adams, the pass to a premise. Side for George. Oh my god, just fucking Back shoot it. Holy shit. It's a nice passing by Oklahoma City here. That's good. Yeah. And it's a six point Thunder lead. Defensively, guys, they just don't seem to be giving the same kind of effort that they were in the first half of the game. San Antonio calls timeout. They trail by six. 143 left in the fourth. San Antonio making a switch here. Here's Parker. Right side, Aldridge. It's Ginobili on the wing. Pass to Bertans. And he can't stop the run as he misses. And they've had the advantage tonight on the glass. And that's another big one. And in a close game like this, it can be won or lost on the board. They've got to keep it up. But they recover it. Nice job on the offensive line. In transition, here comes San Antonio. Leonard with the ball. George picks him up. Leonard dishes to Parker. Back to Leonard. A pass to Bertrand. Ginobili. Nail 
nails it. What a beautiful shot to bring him to within three. It has been a three-point barrage for them since halftime. Not sure if it's been by design or simply by accident, but either way, it has been impressive. And it's sent back by George. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. 46 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Leonard kicks to Parker. He passes to Bearton. Bullseye! A tremendous three to tie it up. Clutch shot right there. That could be the difference maker. Indeed, it might be a big, huge moment in this game right there. Buckets coming in bunches right now. He is just being big time. Aldridge. Getting into it. Listen to that. What is the decimal count in this building? What a difference in this crowd right now, Clark. Yeah, they're breathless, nervous, and quiet. That was a big time shot. That's how you silence a building. San Antonio calls timeout. They're behind by three. 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, what's your take? And, and you know what? You got a couple options here. You can take the three. Two and then a foul. And, you know, if it opens up for them inside, the quick two would be the way I would lean, Greg. But the foul has to come immediately after that. The Spurs making a switch here. Green's checked in. Past the Bearsons. The feet to Green. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. 11 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Pertinus. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, beats the what? Regulation is ended, and we're heading to overtime. Live from the AT&T Center in San Antonio, you're watching 2K Sports. And what great competition we're seeing so far. After four quarters, a stalemate. And we'll see now how these two teams and these two minutes of basketball pan out. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. On the floor for San Antonio, Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. Then there's Genova. And it's Aldridge in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. off as well so he misses both San Antonio leading and here is Green passes the Bertans back to Green stolen by Westbrook and he stuffs it what a pass to set him up and that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there. <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant offense. Yeah, I remember GA as an irritant. And this guy, much like Greg, creating havoc out there. This is the Patterson. Outside, George. And oh, here we go with Leonard. Nobody back. That drops. And it comes off an assist from Parker. Now it's a four-point Spurs lead. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle much more effectively. You just cannot allow the offense to have that quality of a look each and every possession. Nick Collison's checked in for Norris Cole. Westbrook passes to George. Left side Adams. Abrinas hands it from downtown. Abrinas has got 20. Wow, what a special, special performance this guy's putting on from long range. Well, that has been his shot today. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And that one's good. Green. They just continue to splash home those threes. Eliminating the deep shot has to become priority number one for this defense. Absolutely. You cannot allow a team to have that kind of a rhythm from beyond. Leonard attacking. 
Four of their last five makes came off of a high-quality shot inside. Textbook. Really, when you look at how they're playing, they are having their way down low. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, not sure what that was about. I mean, talk about a brain cramp. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, completely a brain fade. I don't know where that came from. Just lost sense of time and the situation. And Ennis Kanter picks up the foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. San Antonio calls timeout. They're leading by six. 51 seconds left in the first overtime. comes in for Evans, and Jimmy Butler coming in for Nick Collison. Put on the first, and that game, makes it a seven-point lead. And so he drops them both. It's an eight-point game. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. Yeah. And San Antonio gains possession. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. Aren't they this close to putting it away? Yeah, and they don't need to do anything to reinvent the wheel here. I mean, just take time off the clock and squeeze the orange. Don't turn it over. And now they decide to foul intentionally. It's the first that will That's put them up by lead. nine. After he makes it a game. Both free throws, good from Green. And you can wrap this one up. Great job to stay cool at the line and finish it off. And that's an intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that brings them within single digits. And George drops them both. We're in overtime. If you just joined us, two and a half minutes through it. And so they choose to intentionally foul. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by nine. And he is unable to get the second one. Yeah, you'd like to convert them all, but that should still be enough to secure the win. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreak. And he ends up making the second, and that brings them within eight. Boy, he'd sure like to have that this back. Hard to chip away at a lead when you're leading freebies at the line. And so they foul intentionally. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by nine. Both free throws good from Green. Thunder shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. And that's an intentional foul. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. So he comes up empty, missing both. This game looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. You're exactly right. I mean, take care of the ball, work the clock, it's a wrap. Yep, nice game. Too little, too late. They may as well just let the clock run and save their energy for another day. Clark, you know, sometimes frustration just shows through in a game like this, and I think that's what we're seeing right now. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. They're losing by 12. There's 21 seconds left to play in OT, and this battle continuing.
We're just over two and a half minutes into overtime in this exciting game. And they go to the intentional foul. And the first one at the line is good. Both good from the line that time. And uh, San Antonio shooting has been beyond great up until now. How about 57% from the field overall? Out of bounds, Oklahoma City takes possession. That is not a difficult pass. You'd think they could keep it in bounds. And now we've got the intentional foul. First free throw is good, and that brings them within single digits. And a tough break is a second attempt at the line. No good. And an intentional foul right there. So the first one drops, and that will push the lead to double digits. And both free throws good for Green. And here's George. This definitely wasn't the way they envisioned overtime working out. And he commits the intentional foul. He hits the first one, and that brings them to within 10. Both free throws good from Westbrook. We're now about three minutes into this overtime period. And now they decide to foul intentionally. He drops the first one, and that will push the lead to double digits. And Parker drops them both. Grant with the ball. It's going to be a tough loss to swap. They just didn't have much gas left in the tank once we got to overtime. You're kidding me. I mean, that's a point guard playing like a power forward. And he can do a little bit of everything out there. Yeah, he torches defenders in all kinds of ways. When he's on the floor, he's a matchup headache. And Cantor drops them both. This definitely wasn't the way they envisioned overtime working. Uh, uh, so it's San Antonio game. with the win. Yeah, to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but that really came out in the extra period. Yeah, when adversity was at its greatest, they came up big. They seemed to relax a little bit once we got into overtime. And that about wraps it up. After this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks three, for watching. But as we go, let's take a look at the Jordan four. player of the game. That hurt.